if you measure Hart, he'll rank right up there at the very highest. He's a winner, and winners can make any team better. I really don't think too much about it. I think about just being like a man out there is the biggest thing for me. Wayne Selvin is a gifted, gifted scorer. When he is feeling good with his shot and his ability to get open, Wayne Selvin can almost single-handedly beat a really good team. It makes life easy. When you have a guy who can knock down trades, teams focus on him a lot of the time, so it takes a lot of pressure off me. My biggest thing is just really trying to be a dominant player on the court, whether it's rebounding the ball, whether it's scoring the ball, guarding. He's an athlete and he blocks shots. He can rebound, push the ball. Wayne Selden has a pro body, and that's something that most guys in the college level don't have. He gives us confidence with his physical strength. One of our key performers. Well, I thought I was tough when I got here, but you know, he really push different buttons to really bring more toughness out of me, bring a better player, being a better person out of me. I tell our guys all the time, and I really tell it with Wayne probably more than anybody, do you want people to define how well you play based on if the ball goes in the hole or not? You, know, you, you gotta become complete. He's definitely tough on us, but at the end of the day, it, we all know that it just makes us better. First, you don't really realize what it's doing, it really aggravates you. But all in all, you look back on it like, so that's why that happened, that's why this happened. And it really like brought me from the 18-year-old kid to the 21-year-old I am now. This year, to get our best players on the floor, Wayne's been moved to the three, but it has helped him tremendously to have two little guards in there that can make plays for him, as opposed to him being a guy that probably was looked to to make plays for others. I think moving to the three helped take some of the pressure off a little bit. He doesn't have to be a primary ball handler. He has to play his game. It's just easier going out there playing with two small guards that can both bring the ball and both initiate the offense. The thing that's grown with him as much as anything is his consistency and him learning how to impact the game when the three ball's not going in the hole. That maturation process that is still taking place with Wayne Selden is going to be very critical to Kansas' hopes. As good as they are, Wayne Selden is the one true difference maker who can make the difference between going to the Sweet 16 and winning it all. It's hard to know what exactly makes a player fully blossom a little bit. Is it coaching? Is it time on the court? Maybe it has something to do with some comforts of home. In this case, Wayne Selden's mother and his brother moved from Massachusetts to Lawrence to watch him during his junior season. I'm big on family, you know, and I've been away from home since I was 15. I went to prep school and I didn't live with my mom for the that whole time. And I was just away from my little brother and I really wanted to have him closer to me. It's a situation where it's been great for all of them to be together, and he's got to renew confidence, and I think his mother plays a big role in that. He's definitely a mama's boy. Him being able to get home-cooked meals, I think that's had a positive impact on him. It's more of a family environment around me. That kind of helped me worry about the things I had to worry about and just focus on school and basketball. In order for us to have a chance to really make a run or, 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 or have a, you know, do something, I want to see him impact every possession. He could be our best offensive rebounder, a lockdown defender, and if you worry about those things, then shooting the ball becomes a lot easier. We just got to keep getting better. We just get along together, you know, the, the cohesion, the cohesiveness. We're just a real together group. The main thing that Kansas needs to go deep in the tournament is to get consistent offensive output from Wayne Selvin. That's really the X factor. We look up when we get to March and lo and behold, there are the Jayhawks, not just Big 12 champions in the regular season again for the 12th straight time, but they really do look like the team to beat when you get in the NCAA tournament. When you win, everything's better. You just want to be a winner.